2010 Toyota Prius hybrid customers complain is uh, vehicles failing to start history of the car is uh, they put junkyard engine in after that car has not been starting I scanned the vehicle for fault codes found two codes one under PCM and one under hybrid system so under PCM I got P0335 crankshaft posi position sensor A circuit fault second fault is under hybrid system P0A0F engine failed to start this is the cause of this code so this is a cause and this is an effect when a hybrid system doesn't see engine rotating it will trigger this fault so the first thing I did I went by the engine bay and uh, let's go by the engine bay actually okay so the first thing I did we by the engine bay uh, the part that you guys are looking at that's a crankshaft pulley I had someone try cranking the car this pulley does not rotate at all so that led me to believe okay so crankshaft is not turning sensors obviously is not gonna pick up anything um, so further looking into it uh, what I found there are a couple data pits you gotta look into and certain things will tell you certain things what could be the cause what could be the effect uh, what's going on what that could be engine seize could be train seize could be the trench shaft is broken and it's failing to rotate the engine so let's go by the car let's go inside the car so there are a couple data pits we need to look into one is mg1 speed and the second one is N mg1 newton meter uh, under scan data pits which is right here i highlighted it for uh, for demonstration purposes so if you look into that it says generator mg1 generator mg1 one is torque one is revolution so what the what they want you to look at is is if mg1 speed is very high and newton meter is low and there's no engine speed that equates to broken shaft in the transmission the second would be if mg1 speed and mg1 i'm assuming it's newton meters that's what they're saying if no speed if there's no speed detected but system sees high newton meters trans is seized so let's look at that so cars in the uh, keys on it's in ready position and let's see if we can find our readings here there you go as you see mg1 revved up to almost 4000 rpm but there is no generator mg1 torque there's no newton meters so what does that tell us it goes to go back to it mg1 speed is very high which it was and newton meter is low we didn't see anything on newton meters no engine speed there's like i said the crankshaft does not even turn that equates to broken shaft so that unfortunately the transmission needs to come out and uh, they have to further inspect it so i'm not sure if, if they're gonna have us do it or they're gonna tow the car out of here but i thought i'd make this video i didn't see anything in youtube um this is a toyota pacific uh scanner i'm not sure if the regular scanner would have these kind of data pads i didn't look into it but if someone does and they're looking at this video do let me know in the comment section that you know these pids are available in aftermarket scanner but yeah this is it um that's a confirmed diagnosis that transits should come down and we got to further inspect it like i said customer may not do it they might take it back to the uh, might take it back to the shop where he got the engine uh replaced and have them reinspected so hopefully that helps someone else out there all right